Well, Kenny, thanks for joining us. Was that a point gained? Yeah, it, it was, but I, I thought that we responded very well to going to goal down, and it was our best spell from then on, and, and had enough chances after you know, after they scored to, to win the game. Um, now Theo had four excellent chances that there, and and you know it took us a while to get going today. I didn't th- I didn't think there was much in the first half, one way or the other. Uh, um, a lot lot of uh, uh, corners, you know, both ends was probably the biggest threat. Then they've got the first goal, but you know fr- from then on we responded very very well. I thought and created a high number of chances in in, in that period, a- and um, took us a little while to get going today. And you know as I said, we we just. Seem to get going when we when we fell behind, and uh, it was a good response, which is which is you know good good. But we want to try to you know start games like that. I'd imagine from an Orient perspective, you'd be very disappointed with the goal conceded. Yeah, and, and you know we understand that you know mistakes happen um, defensively. We have been you know pretty solid, but you know my focus at the moment is going the other way, and and, and the opportunities and the chances that that we created from one nil down was very good, and you know I was pleased with that, and it put us in a position to be to be able to to to, to win the game but you know we, we, we take a draw uh, uh, overall though for quite a number of the players I think there's more to come you know I do think that you know it was a an even game today by the end uh, very even and, and you know probably more chances for ourselves but you know similarly you know as a side there's there's quite a lot more to come as well off the bench Wilson Turium had a real impact he did yeah he's a good player and and can help and change things. I was just waiting for that last scramble to go to him where, you know, Theo's in the box and found it with a with the left foot. The keeper made a good save low to his left and I think it was Craig Clay following up that um, was maybe the closest on that next contact but uh, Rule wasn't far away and it, and it was very good defending by Grayson, I think, that, that just maybe uh, um, uh, took it off his toes for a tap-in. You mentioned their goalkeeper farm and two excellent saves that denied Theo Archibald. Yeah, one in each half. And as I said, you know, there's high number of chances, probably a higher number of chances for us than for them today, definitely. And uh, a good response at going 1 0 down. Um, you know, I would have liked that from the start if possible, but not necessarily easy as well. They have a good side. They've, they've had a good start to the season. And, and you know, with, with the, uh, the manager they've got and the squad that they've got, that has to be respected as well. Is it harder now for Harry Smith after a very good start, a club sort of doubling up on him? Yeah, slightly. He's had, he still had a number of chances, though. There's one header in the first half that Connor Wood has put on his head that he's been used to putting away. And then, uh, you know, th- three strikes in, 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 in something like 20 minutes in the second half, just from uh, the edge of the box, which... You know, he didn't necessarily get off, but you know the strikes are there, and and that's important. And and for our our forward players, if if they keep getting into the to the um, uh, good positions, if they keep getting chances, then they will score. And Harry's one of those anyway. You know, he had chances today. He didn't score. Uh, um, in terms of the first ball, yes, Ellis is very very strong. You know, and, and you know we 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 um, almost tried to play at times like every ball was a killer ball, uh, but um, you know that's through wanting to create and go forward and, and, and do very well. And Harry Smith's a big part of that. After the final whistle, there were a number of players that surrounded the referee. There was a yellow card for Connor Wood. I wasn't too sure what the concern was. Can you yeah, help me? Just, just, you know, some, some of the decisions down, down that side, really. You know, just some of the players, the ball sort of bounced out once, and, but came back in. And, you know, it was maybe that the, the linesman around how tight the bench is couldn't quite see the ball. That was, that was you know, what he, what he said, really. But um, when you're a player and, you know, you lose that particular moment in injury time when last week we lo- we obviously lost in injury time as well so it's just it's just wanting to do well um I'll, I'll have a look at the booking myself because i don't want unnecessary bookings but similarly you know i do want passion as well tom james out because of suspension there's a lot of bookings that adding up is it a concern Kenny? yeah definitely you know we don't want those bookings but you know you, we, you, we're coming away to barrow and it's a, it's a tough place to come and you have to you know, be strong enough and competitive enough. So it is, it is a, um, a, a double-edged sword, really. And, and for us, anyway, no, we don't want ne- unnecessary bookings. We do want to compete, though, and, and, and we will have to, to, to be able to be successful, particularly when we come to places like this. There's going to be competition when Paul Smith returns from his international duties with the likes of Saturio as well as the sort of the settled front three now. Yeah, it has been a settled front three, and as you said, Rule made a good impression today, and a good impression on Tuesday at, at Crawley as well. You know, scored two goals, and and as you say, you know, Paul Smith gives us, 
sort of I think five very good options for the front for the front three positions. I just see that as a strength, you know, since a stronger bench, a little bit more depth, and and if all five are fit during the course of the season, I do think there's some goals and some efforts there. You, know, you could see the the um, you know the chances second half that we created and we had. Okay, you know we've only we've only put one away, and and it's um, you know from Omar Beckles from a set piece, but there were there were you know two. two very good strikes from Theo. Uh, two other situations where, you know, he could have scored uh, definitely, uh, uh, and and you know you go on you go on and on. And I've talked about Harry Smith's strike. So I think that it's, it's five good forwards for three positions uh, under the cu- current format and in the in the current um, formation. And and that can only be good for the club as we go into the winter period. Finally, for me, Kenny, it's not the longest journey. It's probably the longest in terms of time, though. And there were over 260 travelling fans. Yeah, amazing. And you know, it didn't start raining until you know right at the end as well. But you know, we're very, very appreciative of the coach loads of people that came up today. You know, six o'clock start, and and obviously, it'll be a you know a, a, a late one or an early one tomorrow morning um, coming back. So it's very, very appreciative. And you know, want, as as the manager. You know, I always would um, mention those guys because you know it's a fantastic effort, uh, and and supporting the side up here is is is, is um, much appreciated.